Hey guys, welcome back to this Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, top 23 PowerShell commands, which will allow you to remove built-in apps that are inside of Windows 10. So let's get started. Now, I created a nice little PowerShell script with all 23 commands. And uh, there's also another PowerShell script that I'm gonna show you guys that allows you to bring them back. So let's go inside start or apps. And within all ads, let's get into Windows PowerShell. Now, you could actually run all these commands within the Windows PowerShell command prompt, but I'm actually going to open up the Windows ISE of PowerShell. So right click and make sure you run it as an administrator. So once that loads up, we're gonna click yes for this. And once that loads up, I am going to open up my PowerShell file. Uh, the, re the only reason that I'm doing this is because uh, less typing for me, but uh, I'm going to place these two particular files at my site and I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the description with the video uh, because then you guys could grab and copy and paste whatever command you want to remove. So I'm going to do is open and I'm going to locate the PowerShell script on my desktop and the top 23 is not 22 so let's change that real quick it's 23 23 there you go so let's open this up awesome so these are the 23 and all of them are basically the same except the middle attribute the middle app parameter and this parameter is what tells the the command to remove this particular app now i'm going to remove the 3d builder so i'm going to go to the start and I'm going to go to all apps and as you can see 3d builders there so let's highlight this and let's hit f8 or run the selection so right now it is running it's pro it's doing its thing and let's go into start and all apps it is removed that's it awesome second one top number two is Windows alarm so let's run that Windows alarm is this right here so let's go to all apps alarm and clock so I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna highlight it and F8 it's doing its thing and if I go back to start and all apps it is removed top number three is Windows calculator so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna press F8 remove top number four is Windows communication which basically is the calendar and the mail app so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to all apps so it's gonna remove calendar and it's also going to remove the mail. So let's go back into the PowerShell and F8. Ran. Awesome. Go back. Or apps. Calendar has been removed and the mail app. And the next one on the list is Windows Camera. So F8 on that one. The next one is Office Hub. Now Office Hub is Microsoft gives you the Get Office option. So I want to remove that. So let's highlight that and F8 on that and start or apps and it's gone next one on the list is skype so I highlight that and f8 the next one on the list is number i think this is number i forgot what number is this <laughs> this one is the get started so when you click on start and or apps you got the get started option so let's remove that f8 done next one is groove music apparently uh the attribute for that is zoom music so let's highlight that f8 remove it next one is maps windows maps is the attribute solitaire collections is another one bing finance which is uh start or apps money so let's remove money out of there so let's highlight that f8 to run that command and if i got all apps money is gone uh, Zoom video is the video app. So let's highlight that in F8. The news app, Bing News. OneNote, if you don't want OneNote anymore. You got people, which you go to start or apps. And you got people. So OneNote is no more there. So let's go to people, F8. Windows phone. Windows phone allows you to um, connect your iOS and Android devices as well as your phone, or Windows phones. And let's press F8. Photos, F8. Windows Store, F8. Sports, F8. Sound Recorder, F8. Weather, 
F8. And the last one is Xbox app, F8. Now, all these PowerShell commands, all 23 PowerShell commands are great for those individuals that are customizing their Windows 10 deployment to their users. You don't want, the, you don't want users to have solitaire collections, so remove it. So let's go into the start and see how it looks or apps. As you can see, it is completely clean, cleaned out. Awesome. Now, let's say you want these things back. So I'm going to go into open and I'm going to go open get apps back. And this is the command. Uh, you're basically using your app X package um, command lit uh, or users is the parameter. You're going to do it for each uh, a for each loop into the add app X packages, whatever is this, it's going to get into the disabled development mode, whatever is registered within the Windows 10 is going to bring it back inside uh, its current state. Now it's actually using the AppX manifest.xml. This right here is actually a, a file that tells Windows 10 what's what, what app was installed. So I'm going to highlight all this and I'm going to do F8 and F8 to run it. And as you can see, it is adding everything into the thing. It's adding it back into the start menu. So it's still going because remember, we removed 23 apps. So if everything goes well, it's still going, still going, still going. I, don't know, I can't really. Oh, Windows Store, Xbox. Uh, this one right here looks like the money. Looks like it's coming back. What else? Ooh, 23. So let's click on start while that's running. And let's go to all apps. And there you go, guys. I uh, got the Get Office, Skype, which I removed. The mail is coming back. Maps is back. Money is back. Uh, news is back. OneNote is back. People, all the ones that we removed from the, the 23 commands, they're all coming back. It looks like they're all back. So let's go to all apps. Yep, 3D Builder. Everything is back. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. The top 23 PowerShell commands to remove Windows 10 built-in apps. I will place all these commands as well as getting all the apps back. Uh, scripts inside my website and I'm gonna place the link at the bottom of this video so you guys can grab that copy and uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video and I catch you guys on the next one peace out